Thank you very much to the Conference Planning Committee for selecting our poster for presentation at this year's conference. I am happy to present on behalf of my colleagues, whom I will introduce later. Cancer is a significant public health burden in our state and nation. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in North Carolina, with an estimated 20,400 people dying from this disease and an estimated 67,690 people being diagnosed in 2023. The most common cancers for men and women are lung and colorectal cancer and prostate cancer for men and breast cancer for women. The good news is that many cancers can be prevented. The American Cancer Society reports that as many as 42% of cancers can be prevented through not smoking or consuming alcohol, keeping a healthy diet and physical activity lifestyle and maintaining a healthy weight and avoiding excess unprotected sun exposure. Cancer is particularly burdensome on American Indian populations. Cancer is the leading cause of death for American Indians in North Carolina, contributing to the death of about 200 native citizens each year. About 500 American Indians across the state are diagnosed with cancer each year. North Carolina American Indians have significantly higher rates of death compared to non-Hispanic whites for colorectal cancer, liver cancer, and lung cancer, and American Indian men are 70% more likely to die from prostate cancer than non-Hispanic white men. Sadly, many of those diagnosed with cancer do not learn of their condition until later in the development stage, meaning that they are less likely to have a successful outcome. Many of these cancers are the result of risk factors common in our tribal communities, such as harmful tobacco use, poor diets, obesity and physical inactivity, and environmental factors. Unfortunately, there's still a lot that we don't know about the true burden of cancer among North Carolina American Indians. Our data on rates of screening and stage of diagnosis are limited, as well as our understanding of the best treatment approaches for American Indians. We also have a very limited understanding of the factors which contribute to the best outcomes for cancer survivors. Another concern is that oftentimes American Indians are not appropriately classified by race on medical records and death certificates, potentially leading to an underestimation of the true cancer burden in our tribal communities. There is a growing awareness of the need to have better cancer data and evidence-based strategies for addressing cancer prevention and control for American Indians in North Carolina and across the country. In 2022, the American Cancer Society devoted an entire section of their annual Cancer Facts and Figures report to providing valuable data on cancer in Indian country. This is a tremendous tool for researchers and policymakers working in tribal communities to address cancer disparities. In fall of 2021, a new partnership was established between the Community Outreach and Engagement Programs of the National Cancer Institute designated Comprehensive Cancer Centers at Duke, UNC Chapel Hill, and Wake Forest called the Southeastern American Indian Cancer Health Equity Partnership, or CICEP. The mission of CICEP is to, to develop better strategies to understand the cancer-related health needs of American Indian communities in our catchment areas and beyond. CICEP is led by the Associate Directors of Community Outreach and Engagement at each institution. Dr. Ronnie Bell at the Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist Comprehensive Cancer Center, Dr. Tomi Akinyamiju at the Duke Cancer Institute, and Dr. Stephanie Wheeler at the UNC Lineberger Comprehensive Cancer Center. These researchers bring a wealth of knowledge, experience, and passion to help achieve the mission of CICEP. In addition to our leadership team, CICEP includes a committed group of individuals from our three institutions, as well as the University of North Carolina at Pembroke and Pfizer Oncology. CICEP has three aims. Aim one focuses on increasing awareness of cancer health needs of American Indian populations. CICEP has a speaker series which has included nationally recognized scholars focused on cancer health disparities. AIM-2 focuses on expanding access to cancer health education and building community capacity to address cancer health needs. Our team has created a number of educational materials, which we distribute at powwows and other cultural events across the state. AIM-3 focuses on developing collaborative research opportunities focused on cancer prevention and control. Our team has been funded by the V Foundation to assess the American Indian cancer burden in the state to conduct talking circles with three American Indian tribes in the state to understand cancer health needs and to conduct a photo voice and community asset mapping project in collaboration with the North Carolina Native American Youth Organization. 
To learn more about our work, please visit our website at www.sicep.org. You can also reach us at info at Thank you for your time and attention, and I look forward to seeing you at the conference.